Ladies and gentlemen, aviation geeks and frequent flyers, my name is David. I am at Los Angeles International Airport right now. Um, as you can see, hold on a second. There she is. I'm at Los Angeles International Airport today to catch my flight to Munich, Germany on Lufthansa's Airbus A340-600 in economy class. And it has been a while since I've flown Lufthansa on a long haul flight the last time. It was back in 2014, so six years ago already. And a lot has changed since then. And I'm very curious to see what these changes are going to look like. Um, one of the biggest things that happened was that Lufthansa received its fifth Skytrex star. So Skytrex is a, a rating agency that rates airlines and gives them star-based ratings with five stars being the highest rating that an airline can achieve. And there are only 10 airlines on the whole planet that have a five-star rating. This includes uh, Japan Airlines, which I have flown in economy class before, and it was one of my best, it was the best economy class flight I've ever been on. Uh, I'm gonna link that to report right here in case you wanna watch it. I've also flown on uh, Singapore Airlines from New York to Frankfurt, which was my best transatlantic economy class flight ever. I'm also gonna link that brutally honest episode right here in case you wanna watch it. And then I've also flown on Asiana and Eva Air, airlines that also have a five-star rating that I also tremendously enjoyed. Um, so my expectation is that Lufthansa is going to offer a service that is about on the same level as those airlines, those other five-star airlines that I've flown before. I don't really believe that's gonna be the case, but based on that five-star rating, I would certainly expect it. And um, Lufthansa has done a lot of marketing with that. I mean, they painted two of their planes in a five-star Hansa livery. So if they say, if they think it's a big deal, then I, of course, I'm gonna have very high expectations. I love Los Angeles so much. So what are my expectations in particular for this flight? And as always, I've asked you on our YouTube channel, on the community page, what your expectations would be for this flight. And I've included them in the list here today. So um, regarding a seat, probably the most important part of a plane, um, the most important part probably are the engines and the wings, but for the customer, experience the most important part is the seat so i expect very good leg room to be offered um the a340 600 has a 242 configuration so eight seats per row which is standard and the same on almost every airline that operates the a330 a340 family aircraft um so i'd expect very good leg room on these seats i do expect there to be you know to offer the standard amenities like a usb port to charge small devices a universal power outlet to charge larger devices, um, a good in-flight entertainment system. Um, and then regarding the catering, which is probably the second most important part, um, I would expect them to serve two hot meals on this flight. I think the flight time just offers it up perfectly to provide two hot meals. The flight takes off here in Los Angeles at 5 p.m. and arrives midday in Munich, so around 1 p.m. in Munich. It is the perfect flight time to serve a hot dinner, right before takeoff and a hot breakfast uh, right before landing. Uh, I do expect there to be some kind of snack bar available in the galley during the flight. But my basic expectations are that there are two hot meals. Um, and regarding those premium amenities that you often find on Five Star Airlines, I do expect Lufthansa to offer um, complimentary alcoholic beverages, um, as well as hot towels before the meals are served. I do would expect from a five-star airline an amenity kit or some form of amenity kit to be offered to passengers as well. So those are my basic expectations for today's flight. I'm very curious to see if Lufthansa is going to meet these expectations or not. Um, so let's head to the airport, check in and check some expectations. So my flight is delayed by three hours due to weather, so it's completely not Lufthansa's fault. And I absolutely don't mind because I was able to spend 
the time here in the Star Alliance lounge at LAX, which is absolutely amazing. And Lufthansa provided a $10 voucher for snacks or beverages at a restaurant here at the airport, so that's pretty nice too. Hello. Steven Smith, Simon Reed, Thank you. Anthony Tessin, 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 A340-600 and the legroom is okay, it doesn't really impress me that much, but it's fine for me. And uh, they have a very comfortable pillows with the real fabric um, pillowcases instead of the single-use ones which tend to be very scratchy. It's very nice. Um, blankets are provided as well, amenity kit I haven't found yet. The plane isn't that clean. So far, so good. Meine Damen und Herren, wir möchten Sie bitten, sich mit den Sicherheitsvorkehrungen vertraut zu machen. Vielen Dank. Ladies and gentlemen, now we show you the safety features on board. We would appreciate your attention. Für Start und Landung schalten Sie Geräte mit Sendefunktion entweder in den Flugmodus oder vollständig aus. Laptops und ähnlich schwere Gegenstände müssen zu Start und Landung sicher verstaut werden. So here's a little frequent flyer tip that you might not have seen before. If you want to watch something on your phone and you don't really have anything to lean it against, just take an in-flight magazine, fold in the front page, and voila, there you go.
dinner is served. Uh, there were two options. There was a chicken teriyaki with rice and vegetables, and I chose the vegetarian pasta with tomato sauce and cheese. And there are also some crackers and some cheese here. Uh, a little bit of butter as well as a bread roll, which they unfortunately did not put into the oven. Uh, some German apple cake, a very basic salad. Got some more apple juice here. And whoa. Oops. See, this is why normally tables have something to put drinks on right here. Well, and there is uh, also some metal cutlery, which I do appreciate. So all in all, a nice meal. And now, half an apple juice. So here's something I just now noticed. This isn't plastic. This is actual ceramics. I can't remember having seen one of those in economy class. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're done with the dinner service and so far Lufthansa ticks a lot of the boxes. There was a great dinner service that included a vegetarian meal option, which as you know I always appreciate. Um, they offered metal cutlery with the meal, which I believe is a very premium way to serve a meal. And for the first time in, I'm not sure ever, but at least in a very long time, I noticed an airline using uh, plates that were not made out of aluminum or plastics, but like actually ceramic plates in economy class, which I think gives it a very premium feel. And of course, it's also good for the environment that it is a not a single use container for the main meal. Um, they did offer hot towels before the meal service as well, as well as a small snack before dinner was served. Um, so the only thing right now for me that's missing is the amenity kit. That's the only thing that I kind of feel like would make this flight more complete. Um, but so far I'm quite impressed with Lufthansa, I have to say. Um, the legroom could be a little bit better too. And the plane could be cleaner. The plane is surprisingly dirty. Um, but other than that, good flight so far. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to sleep soon and uh, then I'll see you guys for breakfast. So a special thing about the A340-600 of Lufthansa is that in order to make more room for seats upstairs, they put some of the restrooms, some of the lavatories down here. So there are one, two, three, four, five lavatories down there and behind that mirror is the crewest compartment for the crew to uh, sleep. I think there's a little bit more storage area for stuff during the flight, but this is, this is something very unique about Lufthansa's A340 that they have these downstairs lavatories and they even have um, there are even uh, oxygen masks down here so you can actually wait down here for a restroom to become available and in an emergency the oxygen masks would come down that's why they also have a 10 person limit on the waiting area down here all right let's head back up
Herzlich willkommen in München, meine Damen und Herren. Bitte bleiben Sie zur eigenen Sicherheit noch so lange angeschnallt, selbst bis die Anschnallzeichen über Ihnen erwaschen sind. Kapitän Handelmann und die gesamte Besatzung danken Ihnen, dass Sie heute mit Lufthansa geflogen sind. Wir hoffen Ihnen, dass dieser Flug mit uns gefallen wird und sehr freuen Sie bald wieder auf einer unserer Lufthansa-Maschinen begrüßen Sie dürfen. Here we are, we have made it to Munich, we have made it through this rather stormy landing, but even though the storm was really intense, the landing was actually very smooth. Um, but nobody really cares about that. So the flight itself um, was good, but I do not see why Lufthansa has five stars. Because I feel like Lufthansa does not take this route um, about going the premium airline way seriously because there are some parts of the flight that feel very premium like the first meal was served with metal cutlery and real ceramic plates which was amazing but then the second meal before landing was just a very mediocre sandwich that was cold it was a cold meal even on airlines that don't have five stars i have had a second hot meal on a west coast to europe flight in the past for example when i flew in finnair i'm gonna link that to a report up here if you want to watch it um from helsinki to san francisco in economy class they served a second hot meal before landing a real breakfast with scrambled eggs and stuff like that and this is something that i would have expected from lufthansa as well and that i find is the most disappointing part of this flight um apart from that something else that bothered me was the legroom because it wasn't as good as I would have expected it to be for a five-star airline and I also would have expected an amenity kit to be offered but apart from those three things the flight actually was good they had a great in-flight entertainment system they had a snack bar in the galley even though they only had the pretzels that they served in the beginning of the flight so it wasn't really snacks as much as pretzels and juice overall I have mixed feelings about this flight I do not feel the, the feeling that is not mixed is that this shouldn't be a five-star airline this is a four-star airline but I don't see the five-star factor to it for example when I flew on Swiss from Zurich to Los Angeles last year in economy class I'm gonna link that video up here as well um, they had an incredible snack bar like they actually had a bar built into the economy class galley where they put different snacks in there and different drinks and that was like an amazing feature that i think a five-star airline should provide because five star would mean that it is a very over-the-top product and lufthansa's economy class just doesn't feel like it's this over-the-top product it's good you have to decide for yourself whether it's worth the price like I paid I think 400 euros return to Los Angeles from Vienna, which is a great deal in my opinion. Um, and for that price, surely Lufthansa offers a great product. But if it's a 1000 euro return trip to the US, and it's only in basic economy because Lufthansa has basic economy class fares, which don't come with checked in baggage. So you have to pay 100, 200 euros for a round trip ticket to add baggage to that. Um, then I feel like it's not worth it. Then I would choose a different airline if I have to spend a thousand euros to get to the US. Then I would choose an airline like Turkish Airlines or uh, even Swiss, I find, has a better economy class product than Lufthansa. So, leaves me with mixed feelings. Overall, slightly disappointed, but mainly just uh, relief that the flight took place because of the whole storm situation here. Better arrive in Munich three hours late than not at all. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll tune in again to a new episode of Brutally Honest. Um, hopefully as soon as possible. It might take a while until I publish the next one though because right now the next flight that I've booked is only a couple of months from now. So we'll see about this. Thanks for watching anyway. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for improvement for this video. And other than that, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.